So we're gonna do some screen sharing here and let me open up iMovie. Um, and so iMovie is very similar for those of you who have used um, Final Cut before. I would say that iMovie is very similar. Um, it has a lot of uh, similar kinds of uh, features in terms of like what you can um like the keyboard commands and the things that you can do and the built-in themes these transitions you'll notice a lot of them are very similar to what we see um in iMovie okay so we have these different areas here uh that we're working in um we have this upper left area over here where it says my media this is where you're gonna uh import your media so i am going to import um, so I can actually, instead of importing it this way, for me, I don't keep all my stuff as organized as I should. So I'm going to just drag and drop it. Um, and so I just dragged and dropped this footage that I found um, that I had downloaded from my finder directly into iMovie and it automatically uploads it. Um, and I'm going to put, so I have now in my media, hold on, um, I can either import media like that or I can click and I can drag it into a timeline. So this section over here, this is this, this is the timeline area. And so this is where you can actually edit your footage. And so this is where you can, for example, when I press play, let me make sure that my sharing my computer sound. Okay. So when I press play. To show your support and appreciation for healthcare workers, you can write a thank you note to express your gratitude and thank them for being so selfish, courageous, and working so hard on the front line. So at the beginning of this uh, piece of footage, if you notice, there's like a little bit of a gap here between where it starts and uh, when she actually starts talking. So when I go to the edge of a clip, if you notice, um, this turns into like a little arrow uh, or like a little line with arrows in either direction. And that is telling you that this is the trim tool. So if I go to the edge of a piece of footage and I click and drag it, I can actually have it uh, start right when she starts talking. So that's the trim tool. So now if I press play with the space bar, to show your support and appreciate there's no gap at the beginning okay so i have i have her talking right here um and then i have this other footage here so sometimes it's nice to have instead of just having footage of somebody talking you can have footage of them doing the thing that they're describing so that's called b-roll so what i just did is i took my b-roll which is the images the video of her actually writing the letter and I dragged it on top of my other footage. So now, if to I show press your support play, and appreciation for healthcare workers, you can write a thank you note. To so I'm gonna drag this so that it starts when she's saying write a thank you note. So I'm gonna click and drag it so that when she says healthcare workers, you can write a thank you note. So that right when she says that, she's now showing it. So for your support and appreciation for healthcare workers, you can write a thank you note to express. So what you notice is that the way that she recorded this is that this is this is vertical instead of horizontal. So what I can do is I can actually enlarge this piece of the footage so it doesn't um, it takes up more of the screen. So if you click on the image you want to edit, you can choose crop to fill. And so that basically allows you to select just the part that you want to see, which is the part of where she's actually writing the letter. So now we press enter. So now it actually fits. 
to show your support and appreciation for healthcare workers, you can write a thank you note to express your gratitude and thank them for being so selfish, courageous, and working so hard on the front line. So do you see how that looks? It looks better now. Um, so what I just showed you guys is how to trim. So I just trimmed the end of that clip so that it goes back to her afterwards. Um, I'm also going to, sorry, X out of all the other things that are making my computer go slow right now. Apologies to you all, including the Discord. Um, does anybody have any questions about what I just showed you? So just the trimming and how to move around your footage and your clips. And then the part I just showed you, which is the crop tool up here. Anyone have any questions? Or we're good. Seems like we're good, which is great. Okay, so now I've showed you how to move the, the footage around. I've showed you how to trim it. Um, let's say I want to split the footage. So I actually want it to show her uh, writing the letter for part of it, and then it wanted to go back to her and then go back to writing the letter. So I can split a uh, piece of footage by clicking wherever I want it to split with this uh, cursor here, this yellow cursor. I can use that, line it up, and then use Command B. The B stands for blade. So it's like back in the day when we were editing footage that was on film, people actually had to use razor blades to cut up the film and then tape the film back together where they wanted it to, to meet. So obviously we don't do that anymore, but we still use the same terms. And so that's why we use Command B if you're on a Mac um, to use iMovie. I'm pretty sure you have to be on a Mac or again on a, on a tablet, it might be different, but it's B or Command B. Um, and that is the blade tool and that actually splits it in half. So now I can have it so that it shows her writing a little bit and then it goes back to her and then it shows her writing again. So now it looks like this. To show your support and appreciation for healthcare workers, you can write a thank you note to express your gratitude and thank them for being so selfless, courageous, and working so hard on the front line. Right, and you know, that might be something you decide working so hard on the front line. Um, I might not even decide to keep that in or I might, whatever. So you can continue to layer uh, video on top of each other like this. Um, you can also do what's called a transition. So um, we learned how to, how to cut, how to trim, how to move. Now let's talk about how to add um, different effects and transitions. So up here, let's, let's talk about effects. You have a lot of built-in effects over here, a lot of different ways in the upper right-hand corner, which is your preview area. This is where you can play um, the footage that you have assembled. And so we have different tools here. Let me just move this down here. Um, so for example, this is a color balancing tool. So this is where you can adjust, for example, a skin tone balance. Some of these are built in effects where you can adjust. Oh, no, I'm clicking on the wrong footage. Here we go. So that allows you to adjust this, the color temperature. You can go here and press on the color palette and you can make it brighter or darker, more contrast or less contrast. You can even adjust the color to make it black and white or more saturated. And then the color temperature here to make it warmer or cooler. Um, you can also reset if you decide you don't want to. For example, like in this footage, she might look a little nicer with a little bit of a warmer color temperature here. I already showed you the crop tool um, and crop to fill. Um, over here, this is stabilization. So for her video, it is a little bit shaky. So you can use the stabilizer. Um, and that actually helps it um, to not be as shaky if you're not using a tripod. Um, you can also adjust the volume. So in this case, her volume is pretty good. Um, but you can adjust the volume here to make it louder or quieter. And then 
um, over here, so this tool is really cool. This is your uh, speed tool. So you can speed it up if you want to. Uh, let's say for her footage of her writing the letter, we wanna speed that up. So we go over here and you can make it go fast. Four times as fast, two times as fast. And working so hard on the front line. Oh, it's playing back really, really uh, chunkily. So I don't know if you guys can see that. Uh, but the, the, uh, fast, the fast motion and also slow motion tools are really fun. So you can make it go slow. You can also have it go in reverse. So this is really cool. Um, I don't know if I can do, I could do this one in reverse since then it'll be really obvious. <laughs> Obviously you wouldn't want to do this for a video that's trying to communicate an important message. Um, and if that's the case, you just click on the footage again, if you want to get rid of it and go back to that area and just uncheck reverse. So then you're good. And same thing, you can uncheck reverse and uncheck the fast speed. Um, so filters, these are built in um, and these allow you to add different color schemes um, or different effects to make the footage itself look different. So for example, just to show you, um, I go over here, I click on clip filter and now let's say I wanna use the, um, and I, do you guys see this to little? show your support and appreciation for healthcare work. All right, so I can click on it and I can preview it. So obviously, would I want to keep that for this video? No, but is that a fun effect? Absolutely. And again, you can click on it and adjust it and get rid of it if you don't want to use it. Um, so you just have to, just remember, you have to click and select the footage that you're working with um, if you're not, if, you're, if it's not highlighted and circled in yellow, then you're not going to be able to adjust this stuff. Um, so again, you can go to back to and appreciation. another one. Let's see. I like the vintage one. Let's see if I like vintage. Um, I'm going to get rid of the stabilization thing because I don't think it's needed. Stabilize. Reset. Okay. Um, and then also audio effects. So these can be really fun. Um, they have all these built-in effects, so you can do like a telephone effect if somebody's talking to you. If you to want to show your support, and <laughs> a cosmic effect. I don't know what this to is. To show your support and appreciation for healthcare workers, you can write a thank you note. Uh, I don't know if that did anything. It might be fun to mess around with. Um, to show your support, support and appreciation. All right. So one thing with the effects that I want to just point out to you guys. So this is like you know. Um, because this is more of like a serious video. It's not so much supposed to be funny, but like, for example, if you want like the very end of the video, if you, if, if you had footage there where you wanted somebody's voice to change, um, what you would do is, um, oh, and just so you know, sorry, right here next to where it says settings, this is where you can zoom in or zoom out. So you can get way more detail into what you're editing by zooming in. So let's just say like- On the front line. Show your support and appreciation for healthcare workers. So let's just say I only want to change her voice for that part. So what I have to do is I have to take my cursor and line it up with the end of the clip. So wherever I want the clip to end. Um, and so I'm going to do command B. Remember to use the blade tool to split these two pieces. And now I'm going to select this part, which is the part that I want. Um, so I make sure it's highlighted yellow and then I go over here to my audio effect and this is where I add the robot voice. Um, and you can do that by clicking, I believe, yeah, I, I don't think you have to click and drag it, you can just click it. So I can say for this clip, I want the filter, I want it to, the, uh, the footage to look vintage or let's, let's do the silent era and I want her to sound like a robot, but the rest of it, I want to leave alone. So now let's press play. To show your support and appreciation for healthcare workers, you can write a thank you note to express your gratitude <laughs> and thank them for being so selfless, courageous, and working so hard on the front line. All 
All right, so you get the idea. So you can have a lot of fun with different effects. Definitely mess around with that. You can always, again, go to reset to get rid of it. Um, and you can do reset all if you just want to go back to the beginning and start over. Um, and uh, there's some other cool stuff that I'm sure you can, uh, this is like a magic, magic wand tool that adjusts a lot of the settings for you. Um, mess around with that, but that's how you adjust effects and that's how you zoom in and out and you crop your content. Um, so over here we have audio. Oh, so I, if, if you want to add music, you can um, to the background. So that would be just music that you've already downloaded yourself. Um, and then you would just, again, you can just click and drag it into your work area. Um, and you, you drag any audio that you want to use. You can edit in the same way. So you can trim, um, you can bring the volume down and you can drag it and move it to where you want it to, to start and link it with the video itself. Um, you can also trim it. So if you go to the edge of it and do Command B, that cuts it and then just delete. So, and then if you go to the edges, this is where you see there's this little uh, circle here that creates a fade in and a fade out. So that can be really nice. Um, to show your support and video. Oh, I forgot about all these. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm going to get rid of the, uh, the weird effects here. Reset. To show your support and appreciation for healthcare workers, you can write a thank you note to express your gratitude and thank them for being so selfless, courageous, and working so hard on the front line. All right. So um, that's how you add music is you just drag it in there and you adjust it that way. Um, over here, so titles. So these are uh, text that you can drag over your content. So some of these might be good for like an introduction to your video. So um, let's pray that the, okay. So you can click and highlight the, this to preview it and to see what it looks like. Um, something like this one that looks like more of an intro so if i want to use this as my intro i click and i should be able to drag it right to the beginning of this timeline but apparently this could be the outro of the video um and so to change the title you just click in here and then you can change it and you can write something like the end Um, you can also do what's called a lower third. Um, and those are the ones that are down here uh, generally. So like the gradient, for example, this one, that's a lower third. So that is something usually that I drag above the content because then it gets overlaid on top of the video. So show your support and now I can put her name in when she's coming in to talk about You know so now I drag this over whichever part of the video I want her name to show up in and just like any other piece of content here I can click and go to the edge and I can trim it um, or I can cut it or I can move it just like any other piece of footage to show your support and appreciation for healthcare workers you can write a thank you note to express your gratitude and so let's say I want that to go a little bit longer. And thank them for being so selfless, courageous, and working so hard on the front line. Okay, so you're starting to see how we build and build, and it's it's almost like it, it's like building a house or baking a cake. It's all these different layers that you're kind of putting on top of each other. Um, there are some other cool things you can mess around with here, like for example, backgrounds. Um, if you want to, you can put backgrounds. Uh, again, in, in the background of like visuals, if you want to use, actually the green screen background, how uh, Seamus I think was saying that it's really easy to do green screen in iMovie, but I'm not sure if he's with us on this call. Yeah, so I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna leave that and see if we can find the answer to that. But I do believe that you can do green screens pretty easily. 
Um, and these can be just, these are just uh, content blocks that you can drag in. If you wanna put text on top of it, you can. Um, so this way it says the end, but it's underwater. Um, you know, those are kind of fun. Um, and you can put images on top of that. So just like um, I showed you, um, you know, where you're dragging other footage, other video footage on top, you can also drag images on top. And whatever's on the top layer, that's, the, that's what the, the viewer is going to see. When the final product is made, um, whatever's on top is what gets put into that final video. In terms of the order of how, what goes on the bottom, middle, and top, or what goes in the beginning, middle, and end. Because I yeah, think- Yeah, like top, middle. Bottom. Oh, yeah. So audio always goes at the bottom. Always, um, audio is underneath. Um, and then I would say your main video content, which in this case is the interview, or is the part where the girl is talking at, you know, speaking at the camera, that goes in the middle, that or like the main, the main layer. And then on top is any images or any B-roll, which is like that background footage that we talked about that's whatever footage that you have that shows what's happening. It doesn't just tell what's happening. Um, that's what you would put on top. And you would specifically put in the footage that's relevant to whatever the person is talking about. Um, and just like what we did here. So yeah, right here, we're, you know. Patients for healthcare workers. You can write a thank you note to express your gratitude and thank them for being so selfless, courageous. So she's talking about writing a thank you note. So we have the image of her writing the thank you note and that goes on top. Um, so that is a great question. Um, the last thing I'm gonna leave you guys with here is transitions. So transitions are super fun and they're super easy to use. Um, obviously it's very tempting to use all these crazy transitions like the page curl. You know, you can click on it to preview it to see what it looks like. The mosaic is very intense. Um, but generally you just use something. A cross dissolve is the most professional. Um, and so you can put that cross dissolve anywhere in between two pieces of footage. So I just dropped in that transition. I clicked on it, I dragged it, and now I'm working so hard on the front line. And now I have this nice professional dissolve from one piece of footage to the other. Um, so that is pretty much how we use iMovie to edit footage. And I went a little bit further in giving you guys like, we, we talked about how to modify the clips, how to move the clips, how to import the clips, how to trim them, how to cut them, um, how to delete them, how to adjust them and crop them and change the colors and change different effects. We learned how to add music. We learned, um, well, it was good to virtually see you guys, Joanna and Jonah and everybody else. It is good to see you, Cordelia, Dylan. Thank you guys for coming and we will see you soon and, and maybe more next week, okay? Bye.